Hi, I'm Dutch Jones, and I have a radio show that comes out of the Church of Kauai in Kauai, California. We have a church militia that's here. And last week, we received a communique that was sent out to militias across the United States, uh, from coast to coast, border to border, uh, requesting that we rally and muster in south-central Arizona uh, to an area that has been basically given back to Mexico, specifically the drug lords and the criminal element and the rogue military down there. Now, the area is uh, north of the border where the, the Buenos Aires National Wildlife Area is. It's a narrow corridor that goes approximately 80 miles north, north of Tucson, and all federal property in here, all private property, basically we're told by the federal government, hands off, don't go in there, it's far too dangerous. Um, governor and the sheriffs have asked for troops to patrol this from the federal government. They've stolen our National Guard. In 1992, there was an incident in California along the border where U.S. Marines actually uh, returned fire to a 16-year-old boy who was shooting at them and killed him in self-defense. It wasn't murder. But since then, um, there's been an agreement with Mexico that we cannot have armed troops on our border. So every time they talk about sending the National Guard to the border, it's a farce. It's a joke. Uh, the Army Corps of Engineers, they're not armed. The National Guardsmen that go down, they asked us for protection in Campo, California. Uh, even if they have weapons, they're not given ammo. So all along this border, they're putting them in, you know, observation posts, things like that. The National Guard deployment along the border is a joke. They won't allow the sheriffs to enforce the law in there. So basically, they're allowing people, weapons, drugs, slaves to be imported into the U.S. Uh, and weapons to, the st to go south uh, to aid in the uh, narco civil war that's going on down there. And they're just doing nothing about it. In fact, they're saying that if you're in that area, you're on your own. Signs are up around the area saying this is this area. Uh, is off limits, don't go in here, you risk your life, and there's nothing that they're going to do to stop it. Uh, unfortunately, it's not just federal land. There's private landowners in there. We know that uh, property owners have already been killed all along the border, um, and now they're being abandoned by the federal government. If, uh, uh, if their land borders federal property, they're going to allow the many drug runners, thugs, killers, murderers, slave runners to go through. The rancher who was killed in Douglas, a, uh, what they suspect is an illegal alien feigned uh, injury or need or that he was you know dehydrated laid down when the rancher approached him uh, he checked him and got on the radio and started to call for uh, medical aid for this person well that person stood up and shot him and murdered him uh, about a week or so before this rancher uh, had uncovered a drug stash or cash on his property and turned it over to the authorities this was punishment and you're gonna see more of that uh, the crime along the border from the narco uh, uh, terrorists and from the basically civil war that's going on in Mexico is spilled over already. We've had kidnappings of American children. Uh, we've had beheadings. There are more beheadings along the border than there are in Iraq and Afghanistan and all the Arab countries put together, but the media won't report it. People have their relatives kidnapped, they pay the ransom, and then they're delivered in a 50-gallon drum in parts. So uh, we're on the border of a third world nation that is exporting its violence on us, and we need to do something to stop it. This isn't a political action per se. Um, this is a reaction to an invasion. Now, the event that we're going to, it's a very, uh, for operational security purposes, we just know of a rally point on a, on a Friday night on the 9th of uh, July. Uh, operation has been told to last about three days, but maybe it'll go longer. But the point of the mission is to show that it can be shut down, that if we get a handful of civilian militias, uh, which is really the backbone of our American um, freedom, in there, and if we can do it, the federal government has no excuse. For me personally, I want to go there to slap the federal government in the face and tell them that they, the one thing that they're supposed to be doing, they're not doing, defend our borders. Article 4, Section 4 of the Constitution says that their federal government is to protect the states from invasion. Not only are they allowing the invasion, they're giving them a basically a dry port to do it. Uh, my personal theory is, is that all that uh, opium from Afghanistan has to get into the United States somehow, so they've given themselves a hands-off area for law enforcement, a dark area on the map for surveillance, so that all that black budget funding can come through. Can't prove it, but that's my theory. We know, uh, if you talk to, listen to better men than I, like Jack McLam and those guys, this has been going on for years. Personally, I know that Congress, the Senate, everything above the state level, they're not going to pay attention to this. They, they have uh, too much to lose. And I honestly believe that there are nefarious reasons uh, that the New World Order allows these drugs to come in. That's right. I said the New World Order. Um, the puppets are being pulled uh, and controlled by outside entities outside of the U.S. Where's our president this, this day that uh, I'm doing this, the day this is being recorded? He's in Canada with the G20. 
talking about how he's going to submit our banking over to the global bank. It's a much bigger problem this, than, than just this area, but that doesn't mean we don't attack this problem here. This is a blatant uh, poke in the eye to state sovereignty. It is a blatant disregard for uh, citizen safety. And uh, I'm just hoping that uh, by the time you hear this, we'll have five, six, seven hundred militia guys from across the country down there. They're coming from Michigan, Oregon, all over. We're sending a small contingent because we're a small militia. But if somebody can just send one person, hopefully in future events, when you see that this goes successfully, you'll find a way to help out too. Now, there is an email address to go to. It is uh, coalition underscore of underscore patriots1776. That's the contact person there. You email them, tell them you want to help out, you want to go, you want to send some money for gas, you want to donate uh, some time to uh, maybe coordinating. Uh, you don't have to be in Arizona to do this. Now, the key thing is most people say militias are county level. This is not a county level threat. This is a regional and national threat. If we don't stop this in Arizona, they'll start doing it all along the border. And those of you that aren't in border states, what happens here gets exported to your cities. The crime, the drugs, the sex slaves, it's all heading to your neighborhood, and we're trying to shut it off right here, right here in Arizona, and hopefully we'll be successful.